Hello everyone, welcome back to FSD Supervised version 12.3.4. We're going to do a test here to see how the parking uh, situation has changed, if there is any changes, and then we're going to go ahead and do a short drive and see if it parks itself. Um, I haven't really been very lucky with the, the whole parking situation or like the self-parking on arrival to destination. So I'm going to try parking at, oh, here we go, we've got the park uh, shift to reverse and start yeah it doesn't so we've got a little bit of a block of an ice behind us um, this is just uh, ice that's been put on the side for melting um, yeah so it doesn't seem to be there's much changes from what it used to be still don't have the high definition parking all right so it's gonna slow down it's gonna reverse. I don't really have a lot of uh, chimes or any of those chime settings on for parking. I usually just look at the screen and follow through. Let's see if it's gonna stop before the eyes. Yeah, that's it should stop now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. So it didn't really crush into the ice or anything like that. So that was good. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, Let's try this route here, and uh, let's get it to set off. Let's see if it takes us out of this parking lot here. So it should take a left. Uh, this parking lot is na is mapped into the uh, into the map, so it's going to do pretty good. It's not going to use a lot of the uh, a lot of dead reckoning. It's getting very close to that curb over there. Yeah, I hope it doesn't turn here. Yeah, okay, so it's... Oh, okay, I, mean, I am going to disengage because I don't want a curb rash. There we go. Cutting the corner very close to the curb, avoiding curb rash disengagement. Yeah, I've got really new uh, wheels on my uh, on my Tesla, so I don't want to don't want to wreck them to be honest okay so we've got a median over here and we're going to do an unprotected left there is a car coming up on our right there's a car on our left that just passed by the car on the right is the last one that we can see from here it's going to have to inch a little bit forward it is clear on the left and the right should proceed over here there we go very nice commit that's nicely done yeah that was okay i would creep up a little bit forward to that intersection just to get full visibility on the left hand side as you can see it's like a curved road so um, just to be able to get the full vision all right and it's taking a right here doesn't cut the right very uh, very close to the curb so I'm very happy with that all right let's see how fast it's gonna accelerate five over that's okay five over the speed limit that's good enough um, comfortable with that 30 kilometers speed zone coming up over here it's probably not gonna see this and a disengagement for that there we go disengaging for school zone speed limit going over 30 kilometers an hour so yeah once you disengage and engage again uh, after slowing it down it will actually drive at 30 uh, because it does detect it uh, early on on version 12.3.1 it actually had the foresight to see it and slow down before entering the school zone and that was pretty good like I was super impressed with those if you haven't seen those videos go back and watch those sections and uh, yeah it did pretty good there okay so we're coming up to an intersection here we have a left turn coming up this is an unprotected left there's no one really crossing or there's no cars incoming on the on the opposing traffic so we're good to go very smooth and very nicely done okay and a big boost here it goes up to six over the, uh, the speed limit that's very comfortable as well no issues there and we are coming up here on the left I'm very excited to see if it's actually going to park itself I never got it to park itself upon reaching the destination it only like if it's a residential road and needs to park on the side of the road those were were executed very well this is a busy place here in Calgary if you're if you if you know the area 
there's an Italian market over here and yeah it's cutting the curb very close hopefully we don't hit it that's good there's a car like right behind me like dude just freaking leave me alone can't you see I'm running FSD <laughs> All right, let's see if it's going to park itself. Come on, you can do this. Uh, no way. It's not going to do it. And there's a car coming up in front of us, so. Let's see after the truck moves, if it's going to, if it's going to park itself. Pedestrian wants to cross, we'll let him cross. Now it's gonna proceed. I'm not doing anything over here, it's just FSD by itself. Just so you folks know. Signaling to go left. All right, so it should cut across here. And there's the jerkiness. <laughs> Why does it do that? It's so unnatural. That's when you know you gotta disengage. Don't go in there. Uh, what is it doing right now? What is it doing right now? Okay. It's going to squirrel its way around here. There's that jerkiness again. Yeah. It's not going to do it, folks. All right. So if you folks like this video, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. Um, yeah, so version 12.3.4, I don't really find a lot of changes. Uh, maybe a little bit on speed management, nothing really crazy. Uh, it does on dual left turning lanes, when you've got an intersection with two turning lanes. It does actually pick the lane properly. I don't know if that's a coincidence or, you know, I need to further test that and make sure that is actually, it's working. And I've got one coming up here on the way back and... Uh, and yeah, I'll showcase more videos as well, obviously. So, um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. It's not, it's, you know, my, my thoughts are there's not much really changes that happen. We need really a bigger, maybe a branch of 12.4 uh, or something like that to really see the, the changes that are happening. Um, obviously this version went out first to legacy SNXs. And then it kind of weirdly rolled out on another dot version out to uh, to everyone. So, yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on there and what Tesla is planning on doing. But, uh, but yeah, we, we did hear that there is a 12.3.5, I think, coming out. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. A lot of news right now about Tesla. There's, uh, there's some cuts and stuff going on. So... Uh, hopefully that doesn't really shake up anything with the FSD program. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to blabber much more than that. If you folks like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, also please follow my referral link if you are looking at buying a Tesla or using it for booking a demo to try to test drive a Tesla. And that will uh, support me a lot. Hope you folks like this video and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.